Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. It's the 17th, and uh, hey, kid, guess what? We've uh, we cracked 9 million. 9.3 million. We did well last time. We closed it almost 600,000 from our haul. That was a pretty good haul. Um, we've got to go and get our uh, crop for the day. So we have about, what, 675k left. So that is going to be... I mean, it will be one more uh, batch of wine, but it will also be, uh, oh, where's my, nah, there's my seeds. This is why I don't put the seeds there, is that I will uh, forget them. Uh, okay, we'll get the seeds and then we'll go and say hi to the family. Good morning. I already gave Guardi and Azaria the breakfast. They were hungry. Very good. Good morning, kiddo. Um, let's just check your one over here. Nope, not yet. It's going to be like a surprise like that that's going to take me over the top, I think. Run, kid. Run. But we're, you know, pulling about, what, 50,000 a day. So really, we're talking probably about... Somewhere between... I, I have a funny feeling I'm actually not going to get another batch of wine. That's how I much we're doing a day. And especially with it being spring and the pig's doing fine. I think that's... Uh, oh, no, yeah, I don't want these. I don't want these. Ew, gross. There we go. We have some mail. Who wants something? Dear Hodge, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Your problem now, sucker. I don't it's but oh well. I'm gonna I'm gonna inflict my vegetables on you anyway. I love them, Car Carolyn. Thank you. Who wouldn't like free veggies? I love I get free veggies, uh from uh, family, and it's the best. Uh, or jam. Any kind of thing like that is, is always fantastic when you get that. It's the best kind of gift. Okay, we've got uh, to get ourselves some of the coal that we have kept out in our other shed. Let's drink some coffee. Lots to do here. But yeah, I can feel us coming to our uh, nearing slowly our endpoint here. It's amazing that it's uh, we've come this far. Uh, let's go dump off stuff while we're waiting for that. It amazes me that it just it it does take this long to actually make it happen. There we go. All the stuff. We got three more cakes here. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring. Oh, you know what? I'll keep those because we're gonna need them. How are we looking down here? That stuff's grown in. Oh, so many good crops. I love it. I, I'm not going to bother harvesting. I mean, don't see the, uh, it's no, uh, meh. <laughs> I don't know that there's a point. It just looks nice. Okay, and then I probably don't have enough wood to really do anything anyway, so. There we go. Ground all of that up. So we got 17 bars of, uh, copper. So that, that's like 20 more. Now the big thing I'm going to have is that I don't have any wood. I've got 13 uh, oak resins, so I'm going to need about, th what, 300... Um, I'll be able to do 12, so 360 wood is what I need. So that's not bad, that's only about three batches run through there. So I've got eight more kegs, so we got more we can get done today, I think. I think today we'll, uh, we'll get the rest of that. Um, also then... I'd, I'd like to get this going, and then I want to get out to the island, because I think I have a crop to manage. Oh my gosh, there's more than I... <laughs> but what do we have? Uh, 17 total. So once I get that, we'll have... Yeah, we'll have enough to do 17. That's going to be good. It's for 25. We're still going to be a little bit light on what we can process, but uh, you know what? If I don't get that shed filled, that's not the end of the world. I mean, it might be. It's the end of this world, but it won't be the end of the world. Carolyn, guess what? We're just going to eat your cauliflower today. Boom. Oh, man. Uh, it's cruciferous vegetables uncooked. I'm going to have some gut egg. Oh, look at this. A salad? Absolutely. Just wash it down with a salad. Hmm. That's, uh, uh, my insides hurt already. Okay, let's grab these and pile them together. Okay, come on. You can be done anytime now. They are not going to. They're just going to take their dear old time. Whatever. I'm not waiting all day. 
let's get out there. I would like to color coordinate that final shed. Yeah, they are done. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Fantastic. Very good. It's nice to get this going here. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we'll have to figure out... Um, I'll continue selling off all the rest of this stuff. This last, yeah, the last 600k, I mean, basically 700k, is not going to be too bad. It's going to be, it's going to be about the same time I suspect our daily income will wrap up around the same time as the next batch of wine produces. Um, the only sneak attack might be as if the uh, seller produces beforehand, because that's a couple hundred thousand, but I don't suspect it will. I suspect it's going to take its time. I genuinely thought that the 1.6 update would be out before I finished this series. It might be out already. I've recorded like a month. Uh, by the time this happens, this two weeks ahead at least, um, because I'm, I'm enjoying seeing this through here. And it's uh, whenever I get close to finishing a game, I, I just kind of get a motivation to just like record it to its conclusion. It's like I did with Sunhaven. I was about a month ahead. Because it was like ah, I'm I'm so close, and then when you when you're playing it, it is enjoyable to play through the momentum that you have going instead of setting it aside and going okay, we'll come at it another time. It's nice to uh, actually do it all in one fell swoop. If I had enough time today, I would sit and record <laughs> this to fruition. I do not have enough time, so I will not record 14 episodes. Also, my throat would give out. I, uh, I'm as we're getting in, this is probably closer to Christmas now. Uh, as we, I'm in the early December, and uh, every year I go through a, uh, we're past the cold season, and I have a window of time where I go and uh, basically I record like crazy to make uh, room for family time because I want to spend time with my my family during the holidays, obviously. So it means that. Uh, Oh, let's put that away. It means that I end up doing a, a whole mountain of recording very it's the same thing in the spring with summer. I like to make sure I have a nice window so I don't have to uh, don't spend my time doing this. I love doing this, but I think my family would rather see me. Maybe? Hard to say when you get teenagers, you, you never know. No, it's nice to spend family time, so I record way, way ahead. Um but by the time, you know be a couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, yeah, Sunhaven is uh, probably wrapped up at this point, but I was, was so far ahead with that series, and it was because I, I, I could see the ending coming, and so it was nice to see it through. But I'm uh, recording on the weekend, and I think I recorded about 11 episodes yesterday of stuff, and probably, I don't know, probably somewhere about that today. Um, and then, just because I have a nice window of time, I've done a bunch of stuff, I don't have to go shopping or doing things, so... I'm like, all right, let's get things done. Everyone else is busy doing stuff. You get all of your social events out of the way, and then we're gonna s settle into holidays, and then I will kick back and do very little, which will be a delight. I may even play board games, which I have not made time for. Uh, this past year, the past couple years have been terrible for playing board games. Um, my kids are at weird ages where, you know, one of them wants to now, but for a while neither of them wanted to. So it was like you lose, and you three player games are out the door. Or, uh, you know, uh, you just, you can't play them. And I've been cautious to typically only buy games that can be played solo, which thankfully they're getting so much better at. But I used to play a lot of older Euro games. Those are minimum two player. Often, you know, some of them are like three player minimums, and you're like, I this game will never hit the table. <laughs> we're, we're not going to be doing this game. Uh, and I, I got to, I don't like teaching board games anymore. I used to teach lots of board games to people and it's, I, it's really hard to do and I'm not good at it and I don't care for doing it. Um, I, I'm a, I'm a total rule set person. Like, believe it or not, as spaced out as I am, I will memorize the rule set of a game and I will read the book like four times and I will have the book on my lap while I play to and know where things are to look up. I can lock in on a game. I can only do that with like a couple games at a time. But I weirdly love rule sets. I like reading game rules, um, which is very surprising given what a space cadet I can be. With this, for some reason, rule sets are great. And now that I have reading glasses and I can see again, when I get back into games here, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I enjoy, I enjoy seeing the gears. I think that's what I enjoy seeing. It's the same thing I enjoy when I start a new game. Um, 
the part I find the most pleasurable about playing games beyond the exploration element is seeing how somebody put a bunch of gear sets together. Um, Stardew, I, again, I, I think I've loved so much, and I've said this before many times, I think, one of the things I find so exceptional about it as a game is that the connection between all of those gear sets and um, it, it, it's such a... it's so well done between so all the components of the game, whether it's uh, you know the, the planting of things, the uh, the mining of the elements, all the different components, all those different little things, they meld together really nicely, and there's not a lot of rough edges. It's not bloated. It's not too big. It's it's about the right size. I don't know that I want starting to be too much bigger um, without the modding stuff. I mean, I would say in some ways, I think um, playing Coral Island recently. Uh, it's I, other people have noted it as well as playing Coral Island is like it takes all the best things from this game. I mean, and it borrows liberally. <laughs> it's very much it's Stardew Valley, um, but it also I think improves some things um, from, on the base. And I that's what games should do. Games should you know they should kind of it's not plagiarism. It's just that they're well, it's very close to it, but it's they're. They're taking uh, those gear sets and they're improving on them um, every iteration. And this is what I think um, I enjoy about board games as well. Um, board games that tend to do uh, the same thing. I think board game culture was a little bit more um, maybe forgiving to that in some ways. Oh, it's got stuff in the house. What are you doing? Let's dump these in here. I think board games um, get more aggressive against people trying to do intellectual property suits and stuff because they acknowledge that it is a communal pursuit and people, um, there is a pretty heavy annoyance when people get heavy handed. So when you're Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro's or people get kind of litigious, gaming communities get uh, angry because, and quite rightly, to them, the history of the genre is one of um, kind of communal support and everybody is I didn't even need to go I could have just dropped them all here but I, well, that wasn't my intent um, is communal support and uh, you know it's like how you have uh, the event um, whatever it's about which was that event called it's not Essen it's uh, I mean that's the big convention but there's the uh, where you get all the bunch of the you know board gaming um, designers come together and play games with each other and like what kind of you know that's great that's like a, a game jam um, kind of idea where people are just coming and, and enjoying the the whole pursuit so to, to try to claim ownership and that kind of a, you know everybody's knows that certain mechanics are borrowed and you they are shared and you can't you know copyright those so I think this one has a lot of those things too like the idea of farming. You're not going to copyright farming. You're not going to copyright mining. You're not going to copyright, you know, even some of those specifics on how they're done. You're just not going to do. Maybe the name of a thing, like, uh, you know, whatever. Um, farmite, if that's your mineral that you're getting. Maybe that's a thing that is, no one will copy that, but outside of that, everything's kind of fair game. And so, I, I think Coral Island's done a good, um, you know, it's taken these gears and it's really, um, added in a few extra good ones. Stuff like uh, not being able to, to set that a chest can't be pulled from for uh, your universal crafting, which is, you know, very much like a modded Stardew. Uh, that's brilliant. It's great to see that in a, and hopefully every game that now is made in the genre um, also adheres to that, that, that they see that that is a good way of designing. Because it just is. Uh, let's make... Okay, so we still have 10 more we can make. <laughs> let's go put these ones in. Uh, let's not put them out on the side. Oh man, okay, let's not, <laughs> let's not cause chaos in the yard. Oh, okay, there's a few things done here. Uh, <laughs> eh. Okay, let's put that there. And then let's put this here. All right, and then let's get all of these loaded up. All 
Okay, so I've run out of stuff. So I need to come and bring some more stuff in here. Oh good, we've got some extra cash coming in today. That's nice. We have 50 bottles of starfruit wine, I won't say no. Um, there we go. So, that's, we got 64 wood, there's another couple of kegs. Um, let's go get some more stuff to put in here. So at any rate, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 it's fun to watch how different games, um, you know, all kind of borrow from each other and, uh, kind of try to evolve what, what it is that they're, they're doing. And it's been nice to see all, all the, uh, games of late doing great jobs of different things. Um, and it makes it more glaring when a game does a poor job, because when a game is just like a photocopy or it's, it's like, it's not, it's not a sincere homage, it's just, uh, trying to take the idea and make cash off of it, and there's a few of those, there's not many. I think you see, generally speaking, a lot of innovation happening, and that's really exciting. Um, Gathering of Friends, is that what they call that one? The big board game thing, maybe? I don't know, it's a weird event, it's neat. I like that uh, those kinds of things exist and that people, you know, designers from all over the world get together and uh, play games. It's a cool idea. Um, yeah, so I, I've i enjoyed uh, that part of the process. I think that's the part that still I find the most enjoyable about about playing games is, is really seeing those gear systems. Um, and that's board games have that in... You know, it, it's in close quarters. I, I enjoy that process. I wish it was easier to maybe record playing solo games and stuff. It's, at some point, I've, I've always talked about doing it. I would like to get to that point um, and just have, you know, having a setup where I can play. It's problem is that it, my house is not conducive. <laughs> it's a very, very uh, cramped house. It's an old, tiny house. So it's hard to, to make time and space because, you know, if I need to leave something set up for hours, it's not always the easiest to do. Also, inhabiting the uh, other spaces when other people are about is not the easiest. Everybody be quiet. Like, no, that's not going to work. So, it's nice to, uh, yeah, be able to permanently like, have a setup where you can leave things up for a period of time, even if it takes days. It's kind of critical for the... So, board games are problematic <laughs> with that. But it would be nice to record more, like, solo playthroughs and stuff. Because there's so many great games that are uh, now solo, which is... Um, I'm a huge fan of. I, I don't mind playing games solo. I think once... I, I can't do it all the time, but there's some games that are, like, so well made for solo play. I think the... Um, I said this before. Any of the Stonemeyer games, like Viticulture, those kinds of games are really fantastically designed for solo play. I'm getting these berries without intending to. Uh, but it's really fun to see how well they've come up with, you know, strategies to make solo play a viable thing and fun. Where you, you know, playing against Otoma decks is, as they call them, is actually interesting and challenging and not um, terrible like proxy playing where you've got like, you're, you're playing three players or something. Really, is really clunky to do that. So it's nice now how convenient it has gotten to do solo play. It's not my. It's not optimal. It's, it's more fun to play against other people. But sometimes you can't rustle at people, and especially in the past few years. It's I think been harder. So solo play is a, a nice option. And let's have some more coffee here. Okay. Let's put these away, and let's get our eggs. And where's my other eggs? 15. Dude, I don't want to do that. There we go. It's not so hard to get them. Once you get going, it's the getting going part. Uh, I don't have any more fluff, and I do have more milk. Let's load these up. Okay. Definitely will get caught up here. Um, I think that's that. 
920. We're not going to get any more of that done. Sell all of this stuff. My, my wine. I don't need the pine tar. Whatever pine resin thing. And let's get the wood here. I don't even know how long this takes. I always I remember and then I forget. Three more kegs. I got five total we could do. Alright. One, two, three. So I've got we got two uh two four eight twelve. Uh fourteen. And then we've got fourteen plus 17. I say six, 14 plus 17, 31 more kegs. I think. Is that what I need? 31 more kegs? That's not bad. That's doable, I think. Just need like 150 ore of each. Um, so I am definitely going to need to go hit the mines again um, in order to pull that rabbit out. Yeah, I think we got this. Okay, so let's go and dump these off. I don't want to be backing those around. And I think we can go and now make uh, also a few more of these. 1040. Yeah, again, I, I feel like I really have no conception of how long things take. <laughs> okay, let's put those there. And then... Um, And then, there we go. I'm never going to see the ending of that. <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of these things where you're like, ah, that's, I don't know, that many days, half a month, I'm not going to end up seeing that. Okay. And then I'm going to leave the bone shards, because you never know what I'm doing with those. I don't think it, meh. Yeah, okay, and I've got more... I don't need any more retaining soil. I think we're good on that. Um, yeah, I think we're looking good. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Well, let's get another batch going in here. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. But yeah, I think, as I've said many times, it just... This game somehow nailed, I think, that, um, I think a combination of the game is zippy, it moves fast, and because of, you know, the way it integrates all of these different elements together, and it, it, like, you know, that's not an overwhelming number of ores, that's not an overwhelming number of anything, it kept it within limits. I think maybe that's, if I was to, you know, somebody, somebody's watching my son Haven play through and was like, do you, you say, I get the feeling you really hate this game. And that, not at all. I actually, I, I really like the game, but I think it suffered from maybe trying to do too much. And um, that's a hard one, you know, when it's trying to do too many things to, for too many people. It can almost become diluted, I think. Uh, whereas this, I think, kept, uh, I don't think it, 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 feels to me like it didn't worry too much about anything and the benefit of that is that it uh was rather focused in the way it um you know does it does what it needs to do i guess the way of putting it okay there we go i got three of those done and we got two more resins so we really are almost out of you know out of stuff there so i need like 27 more it's maybe one more trip it's more a principle that I'd like to actually finish this than anything. I don't know that it matters, but it's it's fun to do. Um, let's check on our. I just I I'm paranoid now about running out of. Yeah, six hundred pieces of hay. I mean, we've got lots there. Okay, let's load that up. They burn through it quick. It's the feeling. It always I'm like uh, I feel like I'm gonna run out. That's seldom the case though. Okay, and then uh, let's grab our stuff here. Um, yeah. Again, in terms of like bothering to sell a lot of things, I don't know if there's a much of a point at this point. We'll see. As I get near the, the tail end, I might try to ditch, but I feel like we we have such a small quantities, it's going to be like, here's a thousand, and really it doesn't matter. 
Um, I could get rid of some set, like the sap I should just get rid of just to clear up the inventory space, but I mean that chest is kind of dedicated so it's not that intrusive. I don't even notice it. Everyone else does, so I don't. But at any rate, well, we're going to get there. See you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.